first cities in the country to get the with that particular cell. Again, that's the warned cell, although again, that, that has a better circulation to it, but the, well, the folks at Jackson warned for that cell in the northern, or in the southern part there of Fleming County, the one that's moving in the northern part of Round County, so that eventually does cross I-64. Again, if you're in Moorhead in Rowan County, you are not included in this warning. Uh, you, folks in Haldeman, you are right on the edge of this particular uh, tornado warning. Owingsville obviously not included. Flemingsburg is not included. Hillsboro was not included in the warning. So again, it's this cell here. There is lightning with it. But again, on the max track, it's not showing a, a particularly good uh, signature there. As we go to, again to the warnings, and we'll show you until uh, 8.15 with this particular warning, this, uh, there was no preamble to this. Uh, the folks in Jackson essentially went from, from nothing to tornado warning in one fell swoop. And so with that, we are continuing to bring you the coverage of this storm. When I'm going to go back here and show you the Max Track Live. Again, I've switched it over to the velocity data. What I wanted to show you is that at least on this particular scan, everything is, is unidirectional. It's all going one way. So again, they're not showing a lot of circulation with that particular cell. This warning may be discontinued early, but until it is, until this warning is discontinued, if you're in the northern part, particularly of Rowan County, you need to be in your shelter. So then here is the warning once again until 8.15. We'll bring the radar back up for you. And again, you see the, uh, the cells that are ongoing there going across Fleming County. Actually, I'll give you one more product here to look at. And this is going to be storm relative velocity. So again, it's similar to what we were just looking at, except now what we're doing is we're subtracting out the actual motion of the storm. And this is coming from the Weather Service office in Jackson. So the setup here, green is going toward Jackson, the red is going away. So there is at least, there is a minor, there is a circulation there. It's not strong, at least on this particular radar display, but it is there nonetheless in the northern part of Rowan County. At this point, I would say Fleming County is just about out of the, the, the storm's path at this point. But again, at least on the storm relative velocity, I mean, there is a minor signature. There is at least some rotation. The storm does have a rotation to it uh, in the northern part of Rowan County. So again, we we're about five minutes into this now until 8.15, a tornado warning for the extreme southeastern part of Fleming County and the northern part of Rowan County. It does, again, does not include Moorhead. And as you get in a little closer again, you get some of the... Uh, Highway 111's back here. You were looking at the other roads that we were talking about, Highway 32 coming up out of Moorhead toward Flemingsburg. Uh, that, again, is pretty close to where the storm is, although, again, it may be headed more toward I-64 at this point. And I apologize for going back and forth here uh, in and out of the picture, but we're also looking at any data that comes out of Jackson, if they're going to continue this warning or not. Again, they were a little... They were a little speculative after the, some of the new scans uh, came in, whether or not they were to continue this warning. And actually, I'm going to send them a quick note. So we'll see what happens here over the next couple of minutes. Uh, again, as we're looking at the radar display, it's not necessarily where the lightning is, is where you want to be focusing. Again, that's what we were looking at just a second ago uh, with the storm that was up more in the northern part of Rowan County there. But again, this had a little better radar signature, what was coming through Hillsborough, and there might be a little hail with that as well. Regardless, from Hillsborough eastward, Fleming into Rowan County, this is again the area we need to be of greatest concern and again the highways, Highway 32 uh, and then also getting into the northern part of Rowan County north of I-64, Moorhead again not included in this. So you're going through the, uh, the rural countryside there, northern Rowan County uh, in the eastern part of Fleming County, it's going to be in south, south say of, uh, of Wallingford uh, there in Fleming County. We'll remind you one more time of the duck and with that it's a downstairs, you get under or the lowest level you can, basement. You look for something big, heavy, and sturdy to get underneath. That helps protect you from the flying debris. The tornado warning is going to continue until 8.15. So we just got that message in uh, from the folks there at Jackson. So they're going to continue this uh, tornado warning until 8.15. So it's the center of the house. Put as many walls as you can between you and the outside. And finally, the K is keep. You keep away from windows and doors. You also want to keep bike helmet nearby, keep your head down. All those things will help you stay safe. Uh, from the folks at Jackson at 8.05, so that's within the last two minutes, they were saying a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Waltz. That's eight miles north of Moorhead, moving east at 30.
So again, that is what we are uh, looking at with this particular cell. And now the, the tornado warning itself is only for Rowan County. So Fleming County, you guys are out of this particular warning at this point. So you were only in there for a couple of minutes. Uh, for folks there in Rowan County, you continue with the tornado warning until 815. And hopefully in just a couple of minutes, we can get you back to NBC's programming. So again, the bigger picture on the tornado warning, it's that cell, it's that cluster of cells exiting out of Fleming County, now moving into Rowan County, where our tornado warning will continue until 815. I'm bringing you back to the velocity display again. And again, it's a, it's a weak circulation, and it's a broad circulation as well. Uh, so you've got the stuff going away and toward the radar. So there is your counterclockwise spin. But again, that's over a pretty broad area uh, north of I-64. And again, that's coming off the National Weather Service radar in Jackson. So with that, that weak rotation, that rotation that at least appears to be aloft within the cloud, uh, the folks in Jackson did issue this tornado warning. And just like every other company does, we are, there are protocols when a tornado warning is issued. Big companies have them all. We have ours here, and ours is that we are bringing you this warning as long as it's active within one of our counties that's a, that we're under responsibility for. Rowan County being one of those. So 8.15, you've got about another eight minutes of this tornado warning. And again, we will see uh, that storm moving across the northern part of Rowan County. We come in again a little closer here for you. You see the highways, you see I-64, you see Moorhead. And if this has a circulation, it is passing north of Moorhead. Uh, you see Highway 158, it's raining hard. You've got torrential rain now along Highway 111 through Hillsboro and along Highway 158 as you head towards, say, Cave Run Lake. Uh, going across Highway 32 and the storm now into the northern part of Rowan County, we continue to see that tracking to the east. And again, or east, a little south of due east uh, with this particular warning. And so you are looking at this storm as being a potentially tornadic one. As we always say, you want to be safe, not sorry. And with that, even though, again, the signature is not a, a classic look uh, until this warning is discontinued. And there's the Highway 377, uh, again, within that tornado warning at this point. And you're also looking along and north of I-64. That's uh, 377 there, again, running parallel there. Uh, the other highways as you get toward uh, Haldeman, that looks like Highway 799 uh, as you get uh, south of I-64. So, again, that's what we're looking at there in Rowan County. For you folks there, again, this is a storm that is potentially tornadic. Uh, the radar signature hasn't been, been overly impressive at this point. But again, it's the, the folks in Jackson that have uh, issued it. So it's passed by Muses Mill and again, getting into the northern part of Rowan County. So again, we're coming in real close there. And it, it's a pretty rural area. Haldeman, you're right at the edge of this. Moorhead, you are not included in this particular warning. Lightning with the storm. Again, that's one of the things we would use if we saw a big increase in the amount of lightning as well. That may be another sign that's going on. This could, could very well be a very brief spin-up that they might have uh, seen there, uh, at least briefly. And a good reason, again, for the short fuse on this particular warning that it's not lasting you know, a half hour, that we're only dealing with this for about another five minutes or so. Uh, and that warning will indeed expire. We've not heard any damage reports. Did we hear, hear, hear any either? Uh, let's see. Checking it, I, the message I sent to uh, Jackson, uh, they were talking about the, the, the rotation probably doesn't extend to the ground. So unless something changes, they will not be extending this past 815, hopefully. And they may let the, they're, they're letting that warning go until 815, because again, they're still seeing some rotation aloft in this storm. And again, that's via radar. And what they're talking about, we'll take you back here. Actually, we've even on the storm relative. Uh, looks like we may have lost that as well. So uh, again, this is storm relative. So if this were, had any rotation, it, was, it looks like it's going to be in that part of the storm right there. We're at least getting uh, some neutral values. But again, whatever there appears to be weak uh, running long and north of I-64. So again, this tornado warning will last for about another five minutes or so for Rowan County. Again, it's until 8:15. Uh, even if at that point it gets into uh, Carter County, that moves out of our viewing area. And so we would, again, be returning to the NBC programming at this point. So again, this is at the very northeastern edge of, of our coverage area. Uh, heavy rain north and northwest of Moorhead with this. More heavy rain does extend back across parts of the area as well. And again, flash flood threat may be uh, developing for some folks in Owen and Henry uh, back into Grant counties as well. Looks like just north of Franklin County. But again, for the tornado warning until 8:15, uh, you see it's now moved out of Fleming County. It's moving very close to I-64 again. This is not really what you'd call a classic signature uh, with this. So again, it may just be a brief little spin up and we have some other stuff printing over here. So let's see 
if the uh, folks at Jackson Earl let this go here it's, uh, as we approach 8.15. Uh, just a line of strong thunderstorms. That's what we were showing you earlier on the, uh, the Max Track Live. And with that, again, we're going to continue this warning until 8.15. Nothing new on the tornado warning. So again, just a couple of more minutes going. We appreciate your patience on this. Uh, give you the big picture here on the radar. In fact, again, with the velocity, we're not showing you much of anything there. So let's go ahead and take and see if there's any kind of radar signature that would indicate something spinning. And there really is not. Um, could there be a little spin up on that line? Perhaps. You know, it, could it have some damaging wind gusts? Perhaps. Uh, but it, you see it sitting there in uh, Rowan County. So what we're going to do here, we've only got a couple of minutes left on this warning. And again, it's, it, it at this point doesn't look to be a storm that, that has a whole lot of spin left in it, so hopefully it's spun itself out. What we're going to do is we're going to send you over to NBC. Uh, we'll continue to track the storm. If anything new develops, we will bring it right to you. But again, we'll send you over to NBC. Date. Okay, so if you have...